Hey what's up guys this is over here welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about Tristone plugins it's a website which contains a lot of cool plugins like rp plugin and admin plugins and today we're going to be installing the loader so a loader is basically a plugin made by the author which allows you to load in plugins from the website and it's really efficient so the first step we want to do is logging in if this is the first time for you guys on this website so you wanna go to the discord server of, uh, of the redstone uh, plugin I'll leave this thing down below in the description you wanna go in and then you'll click on the login and authorize your discord to this website so i've already done that so let's go straight ahead in okay guys so now i'm in i went to the dashboard and you'll click on the download redstone plugin loader and this is the secret key that you have and the secret user thanks for the author by the way for hooking me up with these cool keys it should be different for you but you'll just click on the download and you have a zip file so you could either go ahead open it in your downloads and extract it but I'm just gonna copy it straight out of here into the libraries and plugins so you wanna open your server folder that depends on what kind of server you have this is a local one by the way you'll go to server your server rocket and let's go with the plugin first plugin just grab it and put it in here but that depends on the, your server of course go back libraries copy this paste it inside and if it says already exists you could just replace it no problem so you want to go back and start up your server okay guys so now my server is up and here is the plugin folder so you want to open the rest zone loader and edit it with notepad plus plus and of course if you're on a hoster you don't have that it's all good so here is the secret user i'll just copy that one okay paste it inside copy that one and put it in the key and now you just want to save this and you want to reload your plugin basically so in order to do that you have to type in here rocket reload and the plugin name specifically so you want to rename this Control c to copy it and just paste it inside and it reloads so now if you go back to the website and reload the page it should be running and you're good to go okay guys so thanks for watching and in the next video i'll be talking about how to install a plugin actually and yeah i'll see you in the next video